Hey, what's going on guys? Andy here, Cutting Clean Lawn Care. And today, me and Randy are getting back into the Cub Cadet Ultima, because we've gotten a lot of comments of you guys wanting me to readjust this in the spring to kind of show uh, cut quality and things like that. And here we are, it's spring. But before we get deep into the video, I'm a 100% honest person with a lot of these products I get from companies, and I wanna start off by saying this is a sponsored video by Cub Cadet. They sent me this product for my thoughts and opinions, and with that being said, we've mowed with this one time last year. And starting off the day right now, getting ready to mow, we actually ran into our first issue with this Cub Cadet Ultima, and anything brand new especially the first runs of products you usually have some kind of issue with them like a totally different model of a ford truck you get some recalls and stuff like that and i think we've come into our first issue with this and we're going to see if we can fix it today as well along with trying to get you guys some footage of this thing mowing so yeah guys i'm gonna show you what we're doing right now we have the deck completely taken off the mower to kind of figure out what this vibration issue is and it's not just a vibration the deck's heavily going from side to side back and forth we checked the pulley, the full system. Everything looks to be in specs to where it needs to be. No pulleys are really higher than any other. Is this camera on here? This this belt's just laying here, natural. Yeah, you can see the little boom. You can see this, this bump right here. But what, I hope this is focusing in, you can see this bumpy ridge right here. Yep. And then boom, smooth. Smooth. This is where your suspension jumps over the, and then boom, back back rough again right here. Yeah, so we're, we're definitely thinking it's going to be a belt issue. So we're going to grab another belt real quick, get this all thrown back on here and see if we can't finish this uh, springtime mowing video for you guys. And like you said, this is a brand new product. Don't really knock Cub Cadet. Everything has its issues. It's just part of what we do uh, marketing new equipment. So this is one of the first runs of the machines. We got it last year. Maybe it didn't have all the corks worked out of it. So we're going to go through. We're going to try to see if we can't fix this ourselves real quick. And if not, I mean, it's good information for Cub Cadet to know that they could have an issue with some of these mowers. Oh, 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 O'Reilly's Auto Parts. Wow! So guys, even though we're having this issue with the Ultima right now, I will say it literally takes under a minute to put a new belt and take a belt off of this, which is pretty cool. But we got the old belt back on. It's still vibrating. It's still doing that stuff. I'm in contact with Cub Cadet. They're going to help us get the problem solved. Hopefully it's something so simple that we can fix it our own and get that video out to you guys. That way, in case you do have an issue like this with yours, we can help you get it fixed. But for right now, we're going to go mow with this thing and see how it cuts. I don't think it'll change too much on the cuts because the vibration is not, like, ridiculous. It's noticeable, but we'll see what happens. Now, I just wanted to record this real quick. This is just me cutting Randy's backyard. His backyard's real uneven, a lot of choppy little areas. It's not good to demonstrate cut quality. What I'm trying to do is just see how bad this deck is vibrating. Now... With most, most mowers, a lot of people should know, when you want to engage your PTO, you want to be at full throttle. Don't, don't have it at low throttle and then go full force. Something I noticed earlier when we were just trying to show the vibration, a lot of times when you start them at a lower throttle, they'll get kind of out of sync and be hard to push back into sync. So uh, as long as I was cutting grass, I felt like the vibration wasn't near as bad as it was when we were just in his garage. Uh, it's definitely mowing. It's definitely cutting. It's definitely doing a decent job at striping for a, you know, a residential machine. But we're going to go out in the field, try to find a little more flat. I'm going to drop the deck down even more, see if we can't show a true cut quality comparison.
So this first pass as I just did, we're at 4.5, almost five inches. Just went over it a couple times, cleared out all the thatch. So now I got about five inch grass. So I'm gonna drop this down to about 275. So we're gonna take about half, give or take. I don't wanna drop it down too low because it's kind of uneven. And just see how it cuts, how it disperses. It seemed to disperse that area pretty good. Got rid of it pretty fast, a lot of the thatch came up. So let's cut this. Let's see what it does, because it's hard to judge when you're cutting grass at five inches. You really don't get the suction and the lift that you need. And one of the things I think that would help this out a lot in our area would be getting some notched high lift blades on it. Because what it has right now is like a mulch slash lift blade that comes with its stock. But uh, yeah, let's run this over again and just let's see what happens. There's no reason this should be here because it's not like it's super matted down. And this this could just be me. I've, I've run a lawn and landscape business for the last six years. I use all commercial mowers. So maybe I'm just used to the more power, faster tip speed, you know, just a more aggressive machine. As far as me, as if I was a homeowner and I went and bought this machine just to mow my grass on a regular weekly basis, manicured lawn, I really think it would be a pretty good mower. There's a lot of options out there in the residential world for mowers. It's not bad. It's not great. It's just kind of at good. I'm going to give this thing still pretty much what I rated it at, oh, in the fall, like a B or B minus only because of the new information we got about the deck vibrating from trying to use it today and going off a of cut quality i would still give the cut quality probably like a b because there's things i notice with me going over this at four and a half me going over this twice at four and a half and then coming through here at two seven five there's no reason it shouldn't have got a lot of this loose stuff Because I know at that height, it's getting the suction. Like all this through here, when I came through here sideways, there's no reason any of this should be standing up, in my, in my personal opinion. I mean, this is, there's no reason that's not getting cut for how many times I went over this. So is it gonna cut? Yeah, this is stiffer stuff. This is field grass. This isn't your regular tall fescue. It's not your blue grass. It's not your rye. So uh, you said you still gotta mow your neighbors, right? We're gonna mow that and see if it changes with fescue and, and, and rye. But for what I'm mowing back here, I'm not really impressed, but it's not bad. Let's go check out your neighbor's yard. felt like it was more than okay for uh, one single cut, but this is just me again. I'm going into how I am because I own a business. I know the way I want to leave a yard when I'm done compared to if this was my house and I just needed to mow my yard because it needed to be mowed. Two totally different things. Uh, I would have been extremely happy with what happened back here on the first cut. 
All right, guys, just kind of giving my final thoughts and opinions on the Cub Cadet Ultima ZT-1. You kind of guys know where I stand right now. In the fall, I had a little more hopes and aspirations for it, for sure. It was new. Let's get into it. Let's mow with it. But now that it's spring and we're kind of running into some of these issues with the deck vibration and the belt, and I do understand this is just machines. That's what happens. You, you can buy 100 Ford F-150s. Five of them are going to have something wrong with them. Ten of them are going to have something wrong with them. You never know. But Cub Cadet is aware of the issues, and I did see some comments from other videos as other people saying they had the same issue. So Cub Cadet is aware of the issue, and the rep's going to come pick this mower up Tuesday and take it somewhere to get it looked at. Let's take your vehicle, for example, and on your tires. When you get your tires balanced, you've got a, an 80-pound tire. It only takes a half of an ounce for your tire to become out of balance, and you start feeling that on your truck or vehicle. So, you know, it's not a major issue on here, but just think about it. A half of an ounce can throw this deck completely off of balance, so. But yeah, guys, when it comes to the cut quality on this machine, if it's something you're looking for, just your regular, you know, mowing your yard every week, I don't think you can go wrong with a machine like this, but do understand there's a lot of machines out there in the industry. There's so many machines. So what I would do is just test them all out and find the one you like. I mean, this one does have cup holders. It yeah. does have headlights. So it's got a lot of cool little perks. They got rid of a lot of the plastics. It's a cool looking little machine, but as far as all around goes, at this point, it's tough. I'm, I'm giving it a B. It's a solid mower. There's nothing wrong with it, and I'm sure it compares to all the other mowers in the industry. I'm gonna let Randy talk for a second and kind of give his thoughts, because I like having a 100% homeowner's opinion. Okay, on the standpoint of this, I love having a bigger motor. It's all, I, I enjoy having more horsepower than I need and this has the 50 inch deck on it. You saw what my backyard was and my neighbors that we mowed. Those are the two properties I'll take care of. The, the 50 inch is just a hair big. I, I would rather go with a 46 to 48. That's only two inches, Who, who's measuring anyway? But uh, from my perspective, I'm pretty happy with this mower. Uh, it does everything that my Cub did, my Cub tractor. Yeah, I like the mower. It, it has a lot of power in the cut. It disperses grass really well. Uh, I really don't know what else to say about it. I like it. I would have bought it. I would recommend it. And I would like the deck vibration fixed. But besides that, that's really all I got, man. <laughs> All right, guys, so like always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. If you own one of these machines, leave some comments down below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Let everyone else know your thoughts and opinions because, uh, like we said, man, this is residential stuff. This is consumer products. There's a billion mowers out there. You guys know which ones you like the best. I'm just introducing you to the Ultima ZT1, and it's a pretty cool mower. You guys check it out. We'll see you in the next one. Check your body, check your body, check your body.